In this video, I will be chipping the subsidian stone into a heart. The first step is to remove the exterior of the stone. Each time I strike the stone, obsidian waste is removed. A leather pad protects my leg from these shards. I continue to remove the exterior of the stone. This is achieved by striking the right spots with the right amount of force and held at the right angle. Now I'm left with a rough obsidian disc. I then make the obsidian disc thinner, and this step is important because when it comes to shaping a heart, it has to be thin. The thinner it is, the easier it is to chip and shape the edge. I get it as close to a heart shape as I can with the large tool, but this is also limiting because it is not as precise. To be more precise, I use an antler tool to press and shape the edges of the heart. Even this tool is not as precise as I would like it, so I use a small steel tool to make that notch in the top of the heart. Now the heart is looking really good, but there are still some imperfections along the edge. The final step is to use a stone to grind off the imperfections or sharp areas along the heart's edge. Here is all the obsidian waste used to make the heart, and here is the finished obsidian stone heart. With the heart finished, it's time to add it to the collection of other obsidian stone hearts I have made.